This is L.K. Samuels. I'd like to talk about a term that I coined. It's called the ruler's paradox. Actually, the idea comes from John Locke and the consent of the governed. What it says is that the people are the power. It means that you have to have approval from the populace to govern. The people elect representatives. They loan their rights they have to the government to govern for them. But the trouble is, is that if you believe, like John Locke, that people have the rights, not government, you got to first have that right. You cannot give what you don't have. If I have the right to torture people, I can give that right to governing bodies. If I have the right to rob and get away with it, and everybody else can't, I can give that right to the government. But I can't rob people. It's a violation of someone else's rights. So if I don't have that right, you don't have that right, nobody has that right, where does the government get it from? Where does the government get to torture people, steal money from people? They don't. And so basically we do not have the consent of the government anymore. We don't have the social contract. It is broken. The government can only have the rights that the citizens give to them. And we don't have the right to torture. We don't have the right to wiretap people. We don't have the right to rob people. And so this whole idea of representative government, everything that Western civilization is built on, doesn't exist anymore. Because the government now is saying, we have all the rights, you don't, and we can do anything we want. And that's the problem.